What's up guys, Desert B here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. So we're in the Dragon Roost Cavern right now, which is basically the Fire Temple. Um, uh, I, th I think we were in this room before. So I think, well, let me, uh, let's see. We don't have any keys, it says in the bottom. I guess I don't know what we're trying to do yet. I got another one of those butterflies. I still don't really know what those are. And we have a magical pot here that I'm pretty sure is, I think that's important later. And can I open this door? We can, okay. So here we go. Um, I don't think it matters that I don't have any keys. So first dungeon of the Wind Waker, guys. Um, this is gonna be fun. Oh my gosh, look, it's a big face. Spooky. Fallen rocks, skulls, typical. Um, that's locked. Typical things you'd find in a dungeon, right? So let's try this, let go, let's try this out. Grab. Oh, I see, it's a step. Ooh, look at that flame. The animation style in this game is pretty fun. Pretty fun, actually. And did I actually, let's see. I was checking to see, I'm checking my Wii U gamepad to see if I have a, a bomb bag, but I, I don't think so. Uh, Link. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so note to self, I guess there is a door with a lock on it in here. So the next time we get a key. <gasps> oh, I see. I see. So we've got to make a path in the water with the water. I mean, in the lava with the water. Nice. Now can I? <laughs> okay. You're giving me Tears of the Kingdom vibes. <laughs> from the fire temple. We got the dungeon map. Okay, you can view it by tapping the map screen on the Wii U gamepad and see rooms you haven't been to yet. That's useful, it said. <laughs> That's pretty useful, I'd say. Okay. Well, that wasn't a key, which is kind of what I was expecting. Uh oh, what is that? It's a... Uh... Um, they were trying to talk to me on the thing. What is this? I think that was a chew jelly, right? Red chew jelly, yeah. Keep your keep it in your spoils bag. Gelatinous goo comes from deep within the red chew chews. It's as effective as a cure for exhaustion, but it can't be used in its current state. Okay, fun. Every enemy in this game has just been adorable so far. Like, nothing has been scary and intimidating. <laughs> but I think that is due to the animation style. Whereas everything in Twilight Princess was absolutely terrifying looking. Because the devs, I guess, were like, well, you know, because when this game first came out, everybody was kind of like, ew, the animation style. And so the devs in response were basically like, okay, we're making the darkest Zelda game ever. And um, they did. Yeah. Oh. oh, that was cool. Look at them. I mean, they're cute. They have the same eyes that they do in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. How do I get up here? I'll take the jellies. I don't really know. Maybe I can sell it later. Okay, first key. Nice. Then I guess let's find out what's in this store. It looks like this is taking me back out to the main. So let me see. Oh. Ooh, I don't have anything. Like a ranged weapon. Oh, well, let's see if this works. Oh. Trying to see if throwing these over here. I don't think it does. I was wondering if it will set them off. Ah, oh, it worked. Ah, okay. That was awesome. Let's 
see. Well, where did I went up there or did I go this way? Yeah, okay, this is where I came from. So we went in a big circle. First locked door. More chew jelly. I think the I think it's maybe gonna give me a bestiary. Look at check, check, check. Oh, come on. A. Press the Oh, the A is a jump attack. What was that? Where did that come from? What's this? Oh. What was that? So many things happened all in one moment there. That jump attack, though! I want to try that again. Come out here. That, that wasn't it, exactly. It didn't seem as cool as the first one. Here we have a barred door. And then we have this. Uh oh. Can I burn them, maybe? Let me see. Ah, nice. Look at the fire graphics, too. <laughs> Fun. And wow, we're outside. This isn't so scary. Looks like there's a goat up on this mountain. Give him the old... Well, it's on kind of a dangerous spot there. Okay, up we go. What's that? Oh gosh! Uh, why is there a goat out here? Eek! Oh, what's this? <laughs> what is this? It's kind of a weird bird. Don't... Hey, 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 hey. I wonder what kind of bird that was. Oh gosh, we're gonna have to sidle across this. Lord. You're gonna have to go faster than that, Link. Oh geez. That's close, but we made it. What am I supposed to do about this? It's a big bombable wall. I don't think that I can do anything about that just yet. Oh, um. <laughs> Sidle. Nope. Yikes, what do I do? Sidle. Ugh, what do I do? Oh, wait, I didn't know we could do this. Wow. Okay, good to know. Here's a bomb. There's another goat. Here we go. They really sound like goats, not birds. Here we go. Well, level two, I guess. No, it still says on the map I'm on level one. Hmm, grab. <laughs> okay. Now, I guess this one? Oh. Well, actually, yeah, okay, so we can do this. <laughs> now I'm on level two. Snakes. Are those snakes or rats? Oh, they're rats. Somebody's calling me. Hey. Link, have you seen any filthy thieving rats around? I know they're annoying, but keep your wits about you. They're only rats. If you spread bait near the nest, they may share their store of treasure with you. Hello? Wait, um, bait. Items, we got it. Stop it, please. Oh, they are they stealing from me? Um, which one's the bait bag? It's this. Bait. Oh, I have a bait bag, but I don't have any bait. What? Come on. I'm entirely unprepared. Why'd the music get crazy? Whoa! Get out of here, you rat. 
Please be a key, because if not, I think we're stuck. Oh, the compass! Oh no. Let me switch back to my map screen. Shoot. Oh, we can go this way. Um, I need fire. I thought I thought I had locked myself out of a situation here. Well, I was really thinking in my head, like, man, did I, what? Hello. I was kind of thinking in my head, should I have come here with bait? Like, do the rats have the key? I don't know. Shoot. How does this work? Maybe if I grab this. Hey, come on. Maybe if I grab this stick. Bro. Oh, wow. He really does have a good throwing arm. Nice. Nasty old rats. Please be a key. Ugh. Nice. Yay. Their tails look like snakes. Back outside. Interesting. This is weird. Yep. Yep. Goats. <laughs> Hold on. I want to see. Can I like? I really want a like a bestiary of some sort. Hey, he's got a key. Oh gosh, I almost fell. <laughs> that long old neck. Okay, that's enough of that. Get down here. Sitting on a, 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 a key. Cool. What's that? A golden feather. In my spoils bag. Certain strangeness emanates from the quill of this beautifully shining golden feather. Winged girls are said to be infatuated with these treasures. Oh my. Okay, so far, um, the keys have been like right outside the door that I need them for. You think I'm going to need fire for something up here? Let's go check it out. Whoa, look at all the bats. Yeah, I definitely need to light this torch. Why? We don't know yet. Link, jump. Ah. I only have three hearts. Maybe I should have gotten hearts before coming here. That's kind of typical, though, I guess, for doing the first dungeon. Usually you only have three hearts. Come on down here. Okay, let me get a um, stick. Get some flame. Light that and let's burn this. Ah, huh, well, what was the point of the torch then? I thought it was gonna give me a chest. Ah, there we go, that's the point. Look at the little moth following me. Okay. Onward. What's that? A rock on a jar? Oh, check it out. Oh, should we be like... Oh! <laughs> wow, okay. Not graceful whatsoever. I was trying to time it a little bit. Like this. Nice. Now, what is the deal with these? Oh, okay, you can climb it. I think it's a warp, right? Oh boy, it took me all the way back to the beginning. No! Ow, I want back in the jar. <laughs> Let me in the jar. Oh. Nice, did you see that? He went around behind him and did that jump attack. That was awesome. Okay, I missed the butterfly pendant. Why would I want to come back to the front? I'm confused. Well, um, so that's a mechanic of the dungeon. Not sure why we need to go back to the front yet, but I'm sure there's probably going to be a reason. 
Oh, check it. What's this? Is it mini boss fight time? What a, this isn't any kind of a mini boss. Ah, got him. So let's think. Okay, we need a stick. Uh oh. Well, I feel like oh, maybe there's a stick up here. I feel like we're gonna need to light the torch. Oh gosh, another locked door. Oh, here's the sticks. Okay, here we go. Yep. Chest? Okay. Hmm, I don't think this is gonna be the dungeon item. Maybe a key? A treasure chart. Open the chart on the map screen and a place where treasure lies will be lit up. Sail to the area, then use the chart to find the map. Oh, that's fun. Um. How do you open these doors? Uh, what door did I come through? I think I, I came through this door and it's locked. Okay, maybe I need to start breaking these. Um. Maybe there's something important in them. Oh, what? That was weird. Hold on, I want that A command. In what situation? <laughs> yes. Okay, I missed the the cool dramatic thing, but it is so cool. All right, then I guess I need to break all of these creepy little bokoblins hiding like that. That was weird. No more than that one. Maybe you just need to kill all the enemies in here. I hope later on in the game we're gonna get some really cool, like, um, dungeon specific music, you know? That's one of the things that always made the temples and the dungeons and stuff and all the other Zelda, the Zelda games really fun because you had, like, all. Oh, gosh darn it, Link. You just had like all this really cool music that was different in each temple, you know? Oh. I'm honestly not really sure how long this game is either. Oh, um, butterfly thingy. Aha! Get him, Link. Nice. Okay, that did it. It unlocked the door we came from and the one above. Well, we're on floor two at the moment. This will put us at floor three. Or will it? No, never mind. It doesn't. Oh, these are probably... I need these, I think. What is that? Gross. What do I do? I don't have a long-range weapon. I jump over there and attack? Oh no, it doesn't die in the lava. Oh no! I think you gotta be straight on. Or no, maybe you gotta... Oh gosh, we're going for a swim in this lava if we keep messing around. You gotta wait for it to open its pinchers. Ugh. Oh boy. Still not dead. Come on! Do you think we're getting the Master Sword in this game? Come on, come on, open your pinchers! It's not dying, I don't know what to do. Hey, come back here. Oh, maybe he'll come up here. Yeah, follow me up here, this is bigger. A bigger place to fight. Come on. I don't know, I'm gonna throw one of these though. Oh no! Jeez, that was dramatic. Where am I? Okay, we're we're where we were. That's okay. I don't know. This just seems to be like very not effective. How many times do you have to hit him? I'd like it if it followed me over to the other ledge. Open your pinchers. Uh, uh, oh gosh. 
<laughs> Shoot, what do I do? I'm gonna throw water on him. Oops. Oh, this might be good. I don't know how to kill this thing. Let's open the pinchers. Oh, come on. And my um, thing went away. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait for it to attack. Okay. And now we're going to just go back. Oh, it's already back, though. I was thinking I'll just, like, do this while it's in the lava, but it's already back. Oh, jeez. Gosh darn it. I'm going to... How many hearts do I have left? Ah, okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. But that kind of actually seems sort of effective. So let's try that again. I mean, he's kind of looks like he's made of fire a little bit. Ah, no! Gosh darn it. He dropped right off the edge. We're down to a heart and a quarter. Did we cool him down? Oh, hey, hey, hey. Is this working? Oh my gosh. Okay, that's the trick. Give me those hearts. No. What even is this stupid flaming worm? I missed. Got him. Okay, okay. Now just make it back. Grab this thing. Should we play it like extra safe, maybe? I don't feel nervous. And then throw that. And I'm assuming we're gonna jump onto this. <laughs> okay. Not bad. Where are we now? We're getting a whip for sure. Check it out. Skyward sword. Uh, memories coming back to me there. Bombable, two bombable rocks. Oh, nice. Just what we needed. Oh, another warp jar. Let's see. I wonder where that one takes you. Should I, oh gosh, not another worm. Should we test it and see? It took me to the beginning. What? Again? I don't understand. Why would want to come back? Oh boy. Hey, now this isn't where we were. I hope it takes me back. Okay, so it's like they're in order, I guess. Um, well, let's go this way. We've got to get the items to progress, it seems. It's Baloo! <laughs> oh, look at another one. Man, he is unhappy. Let's... Uh, is, are we going up to see Valu already? I feel like we're going to get... Uh, what does Daenerys say? Draconis. <laughs> we're going to get Draconis. <laughs> oh, Medley! I forgot we were trying to rescue her. Also, I didn't point this out last episode because I really didn't see it until I was um, editing, but she's wearing the Zora symbol on her chest. So, further proof, just in case nobody believed me about Zora's, um, what's the word? Um, evolving into Rito. Okay, this is a first. Give me that A react thing. What am I supposed to do against this? Do something, put your spear down. Oh, yes. Can I pick his spear up? I'm really curious about this. Is he dead? No. Got him. 
Okay, this epic music. This is so cool. Let me grab this. Oh, yes. No. Uh, <laughs> yes. Wait. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Skull necklace. Keep it in your spoils bag. What do you mean? Put it on your neck. This rather off-putting accessory would appear to be a little of little value, but shown to the right person, it's apparently of great worth. All right, Medley, you got to go talk to Valu. I want my spear. Ugh, dropped it. Link, you came to rescue me. Thank you. I have to tell you about what I found out. This is terrible. Some creature's doing awful things to Valu's tail. <laughs> That's why he's so angry. Oh my gosh. The great Valu's tail hangs down into the room right below here. There's gotta be something in there. I wonder if those mean monsters who captured me have something to do with it. We've got to do something now before it's too late. I'll go tell everyone what's happening. Here, Link, use this to get out of here. This is what I used to get this far. This device we Rito used before we evolved wings. Is this it? The grappling hook! Okay, this was an item used by the Rito people before they had wings. Nice. Uh, all right, set it to one of your things. Here, Link, climb up on that little ledge over there so you, so I can show you something. What, what, where did she get wings? Also, do you want a golden feather? It said that girls that have wings are infatuated with gold feathers. Grab this branch with the grappling hook. You can swing over there to get out of this area. When you aim at a branch that you can latch onto, the thing, the action button will appear. Remember that. Don't worry about me, Link. Get going. Well, let me get to my items. Grappling hook. Grappling hook. Nice. Let go. Ooh, I like it. It's cool. Um, I guess we're going this way. There's also a ladder in case you fall. So, okay, all you have to do is just wait for the action button and then let go so it's not complicated at all. And, okay, and then we can now go this way. Okay, but um, my dinner just arrived, so I <laughs> wanna go eat. Let me do this, though. Man, okay, so something's got Baloo's tail. How terrible. Poor Baloo. Baloo. It makes me think of Baloo the bear from uh, uh, the Jungle Book. Oh, this looks spooky. It looks like I'm in a mouth. Look at the teeth. Okay, um, um, intermission for dinner. Okay, sorry about that guys, we're back and let's finish off this temple. Wasn't there, oh yeah, I was just gonna say, wasn't there a second one up here? It tried to get me. Okay, that triggered a chest down below. Let's see, let's grab the butterfly pendant. Hmm. I, I'm just thinking, do we need... This bridge is all broken up. I, <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but I'm just thinking, can you burn this bridge? Oh, you can! Is this what you're supposed to do? I'm really not sure. Oops. Oh, no! Uh, that was the only stick. What do I do now? I don't know. Something just seems a little bit strange here. Okay, broke that. Now what? Oh. <laughs> okay. That's one way to do it. A joy pendant. These pendants are said to flock to those who spread joy. Still don't know what to do with those, but I guess we'll figure it out. So that would be a shortcut if you needed to get back up that um thing over there let's see let me on the map we're on floor two we're in the middle room oh 
Oh, 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 this is probably a um, shortcut, don't you think? Well, if I could cut any of these ropes. Oh, shoot. <laughs> um, let me think, let me think. I could... No, I don't know what to do, actually. What about the... Oh. oh, um, what about... What about a spin attack? There we go. Okay. Yes, shortcuts. Kinda, kinda, kinda. I mean, if I needed to get back up here. But I think actually there's a doorway down here. Let's go over here. Ooh, okay. Where are we? We're on the first floor now. Um, there, there's a couple of chests that we missed. Now what floor are we on? Still, it still says floor one. I find that hard to believe, I guess. Oh, look, there's that. That seems pretty dangerous, though, but, but this is locked. So I came from here. Oh, maybe it's a lever for the to unlock the door. Let's see. Oh gosh. Yikes. Yeah. Jeez. How do I get back? Oh. Okay, nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Another one. And it's crooked. Let me see. We're still on floor one. I actually, there's a chest over there. So to the right on the, according to the map. Oh, that was dumb. There's nothing over here. Shoot. Okay, now let's see how well Link does a curved jump. Oh, well you can turn. Okay, not bad. I'll take that. Okay, so somewhere down this hallway, there, I'm, I guess in that door, there's a chest, apparently. Yep. Oh, what is this? This looks like mini boss territory. No! I wonder if my new weapon does anything for this. Doesn't appear to. <laughs> Yikes. I don't know what to do about this thing. Okay, that actually was pretty effective. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, get it, Link. And this has got to be the boss key. Look at that chest. Oh, no, another one. Oh, hoo -hoo, that was sweet. Okay, that was effective. More? Are you, you're joking. Come on. Nice. I th I'm thinking maybe they just don't stop coming. I don't know. Nice. I was curious if that thing went anywhere. Oh, what's that? Okay, I'm just going to assume that these things don't stop coming. So let's figure this out. Okay. What do I do? Lure it, maybe? I don't know. Come here. I wonder if it can press the switch for me. Because there's nothing... There's nothing in this room that I could use, like a jar. Okay. Press the switch. Press the switch. Get on the switch. Come here. I don't think this thing's heavy enough. No, it's going right over the switch. Hmm, what can I do? Oh, that was lame. Oh! Oh, I know! Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. 
See, you just gotta look at it long enough and then it makes sense. Drop. Nice. Okay, that makes sense. Really interested to see what the boss keys look like. Okay, pretty classic, but it is pretty cool to see like such a nice HD version with that big eyeball in the middle. Big key used to gain entrance to the room where the dungeon's boss lurks. And the dungeon boss is on the third floor, so I think we have everything we need to get there now. I mean, a couple of... There is a chest on this floor that we missed. I don't even remember going to the fourth floor. Hey. I don't remember going to the fourth floor at all, but I guess we must have. And then... Some chests on the second floor, but that's right outside the boss's entrance. So where am I? I'm on the first floor. Alright, let's... Let's get moving then. On to our first... Temple boss! And... <laughs> whatever is causing Baloo such distress... <laughs> pulling on his tail. How terrible. It seems like, you know, like, Baloo, unless whatever it is is like a gigantic monster, like Baloo, I think I called it Baloo on accident. Baloo, um, like he's a big old dragon, you'd think he'd just be able to stand up and get his tail out of there, you know? What do I know, though? Okay, so let's figure this out. How do we get to... I'm on floor one. That's a shortcut. Let's go back down there, maybe. Oh, boy. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> oh, jeez. Don't know how I didn't see that. Okay. I feel like... I'm really not sure what to do at this point. So let me grab the water. Let's get back up to... Okay, come on. Get out of here. <gasps> Link! Oh my gosh. Link did that himself. He just tried to do a jump slash and went right off the edge. Now, here we go, here we go. Whew! Now, where are we? That's a dead end, so we need to go this way. Oh, I'm on the right floor. I'm on the proper floor now. Um, shoot, but but I'm... I kind of feel a little bit lost. I don't think this is where we need to go. But let's go up and just check. I think this is what takes you to the fourth floor. But how did I get here? Oh, here's a door. Oh, this is it. This is it. This is exactly where we need to go. Third floor? Yeah, okay. Perfect. Um, I still don't really understand. What was the deal with the jars? Why would we ever have wanted to go back to the first room? Not sure on that one. Yep. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> okay. Yellow rupee, worth 10, not too shabby. It said, can I just have this chest? A nice crest? Keep it in your spoils bag? All who are skilled in the ways of the sword know the value of a crest such as this. Not me. I'm skilled. Not all who are skilled know the value of whatever... Whatever it is. Very... Uh, I wish we had a... You know what? Let me check. Let me check. I do have a bottle, too. It's right there on my thing. I could have... Bottle, bottle, bottle. Wait, um, it's X. Get in my bottle. She looks like Tinkerbell. Oh, it's so sad. Caught a fairy in a bottle. When your life energy runs out and you collapse from exhaustion, this fairy will replenish your strength. Okay, I'm gonna take it off the loadout if I am able. 
What if I put the mail bag? Nope. What if I put... What if I put this up there? I just don't want to accidentally use it. Woo! Big door. Now what? Well, there's Valu's tail. <laughs> it looks pretty stuck. It's got hooks on it. Where is this monster? It's a lava monster. Okay, that thing might be bigger than Valu. Like a big old scorpion, a fire scorpion. Okay, what do I do? Um, I don't have any kind of ranged weapon here. Oh, it's stuck. Hold on, hold on. Don't go anywhere. Where's your... Is this a... No, I don't know, actually. Let me try to get it to do that again. What is the mechanic here? Ow, jeez. Shoot. Uh, okay, that's not bad there. Aha, yes. What do I do? What do I do? Blink! Jeez. Uh, hmm, that looks... Maybe the whip? Okay, easy does it. It's like it, it's wanting... Uh, hmm, what do I do? It's like sucking air in, like it's about to, but there's no bombs. Huh. Let me just see if there's anything else in here that's useful for me. There's absolutely nothing. Okay, it's gotta be something. Ow, jeez. Oh, stop. I wanted to put both of its spikes down. A, what's A? A mighty enemy stands before you, even in the face of such danger. However, you'd be wise to change your perspective and see what's around you. It's important to get a firm grasp of your, of your surroundings and see what you can use to swing the battle in your favor. That's what I tried. There's nothing here. Hmm. Jeez. Okay, run, Link. Let me try using the... Um... What about Valu's tail? Let me see, hold on. This thing will stop. You're trying to stab me. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for it to like stick, get stuck. There we go, there we go. Ouch! What about... Lord have mercy. Ah, uh, I don't know what to do. It's like not giving me a moment. Okay, is it stuck? <laughs> okay, that was it. Um, but I'm like dying. Okay, you need to you need to get stunned or whatever. Give me a moment. Move, please! Oh, no! This is tough, guys. This is tough. This is tough. He's pretty stuck. Oh, Baloo's gonna be pissed. <laughs> Why would I want to let go? No. Why would I want to let go? I can't... I don't know what's going on. I think I'm gonna be eaten. <laughs> oh! Okay, that like crushed its exoskeleton. Let me get some hearts. Now what? Oh my. What does this mean for me? I think I am in danger. Run, Link. Oh my gosh. 
No! My safety net. Okay, I think I know kind of what I need to do. He's stuck. Baloo, I need your tail. Okay, yeah, I think I just need to, like, let go. I don't know. Let's try it. Crush. Okay, broke it a little bit more. It's not... I still don't think I can do any damage to it. Wow, this thing is massive. Definitely bigger than Baloo. Okay, um, let's wait for him to do that. We gotta wait for him to get good and stuck. That's kind of good. Link, come on. Link, please. Please. Lord. Is he stuck? Good and stuck, good and stuck. I missed. Oh, no. I want a heart. Stay there, please. Okay, this is the third one. So let's see if he's weakened enough at this point. I'm gonna let go. Get Baloo good and mad. What? He still looks like he's covered in an exoskeleton, but... Ah, okay, okay. Now he should be vulnerable, I think. So let's take a look and see what happens. Uh, I think his eye is obviously the... Um... Ugh, this is it, this is it. Link, please don't. I don't know where you are, but don't get in the fire! Wow. Oh, boy. I can't really see. Um, yikes. Yikes. Are there any more jars? Oh. <laughs> Give me the hearts. Why did I come into this fight with three hearts? Hmm, I don't know if my um, whip is any good now. Oh, I can do this still. Let's piss off Bal Baloo. I keep calling him Baloo. Oh, it doesn't work now. Okay, I guess it's up to me and my sword. Where's your big ugly head at? Okay, great. There we go. That's what we need. What? Why didn't that work? I'm scared to do a jump attack because I'm afraid I'm going to land right in the lava, you know? Okay, that worked. That worked. Ooh, did we get him? Nice. First boss fight down. That was cool. It didn't ever tell us what its name was. Oh, come on. I like to know the names of these things. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> okay, that was some cool fanfare. <laughs> Love that. Let me get a heart. Okay. Yeah, let's grab this. Now do we go tell Valu sorry for swinging on your tail? <laughs> it's wind! Wow. It really is. <laughs> Poor Valu. There's Medley. Trying to tell him what's wrong. It's like Death Mountain. It's This is so weird. This seems like it should be like a Goron place. Maybe his tail was stuck. 
<laughs> Link. Oh, it's what's his name? Kamali. Well, well, Prince Kamali, don't you have something you want to say? I heard everything from Medley. Link, thank you so much. I'm sorry I mistrusted you. I hope I can be like you someday, Link. You will, Kamali. I just know it. Right, Link? <laughs> and this is the... I forgot what they called it. Some kind of a medallion. So, Link, here. I want you to take this, Link. Giving you the thing I value most will give me the courage I need to stand up to bad things. <laughs> Din's Pearl. This is the gem the Rito's claim was passed down from the great goddess. Oh boy, he still sounds pissed. The great Valu is grateful to you, to, to you, Link. <laughs> Valu language. Whoa, look at that tongue. Use the wind's god. No, 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 sorry. Use the wind god's wind? That's what he said, but I don't understand. I wonder what it means. The wind god's wind. I wonder if what he's talking about has anything to do with the wind shrine through that tunnel. Oh, I almost forgot. The Great Valu also names you, Link, a true hero. I agree with him. As far as we're concerned, Link, you really are a hero. Well, I'm going to go and visit Valu. I'll come see you sometime with the best pair of wings ever. <laughs> hey, Prince Kamali. Thank you so much, Link. See you again someday. Yeah, go get your wings, boy. Okay. Awesome. Um, so let's see. I guess I got... Uh, why does it look like... Oh, Link was like floating above the ground a little bit for a minute there. Like right here. Um, we got the whip. We got some... Not so useful instructions from Valu to use the wind gods wind, which I think we're just going to need to use while we're in the boat. Let me just see if anything has changed over here. Check. Appears to be markings. Yeah. And then this one's broken. It's broken. <laughs> okay. So nothing super exciting there, I guess. Well, I guess then the next step would be maybe um, let's go see what the King of Red Lions says. It would seem that Ganon sent those monsters to this place, but that would mean there's no time to lose. We must depart at once for the place where the next pearl sleeps. We sail to the south. Okay, so that was... How do I get in this boat? Let me in. Uh, gosh, I'm going to run out of stamina trying to get in this boat. What do I do? Hello? What do I have to ask him to get on? We cannot depart until the wind blows to the south. Oh, it'd be a fatal mistake to set sail under an unstable breeze. I heard legends that tell of a wind god who once resided on this island. It's said that the winds obeyed his every whim. Have you heard nothing of him? Well, I have, in fact. It <laughs> I was drowning. Um, where's my... Well, shoot, I don't even remember the song. Does it tell you the song somewhere? Uh... No? I guess not. Let me go over here. Oh, who's this? It's a... It's um, It's a person, not a Rito. Listen, man, you're not one of the native islanders, are you? No. Do you want me to help you? Here you go. My problem is I just have no idea how I'm supposed to get up there. I have a job interview. <laughs> Too bad. Gotta be resourceful. Okay, so it's up, left, right. Wait a minute. Up, left, right. You conducted the wind's requiem? Oh, I get to choose. So we want the wind to blow to the south. That's so cool. 
Okay, nice. I guess we hadn't actually, like, for real, for real, tried that yet. I wonder, like, considering that it doesn't seem like there's anywhere stored on the, um, like, in my inventory or my, like, there's nothing here. It doesn't tell you anything about, um, climb. Now I can climb on. Let me talk to him. The wind's blowing to the south. Quickly, swim beside me and press A to climb aboard. Okay. Yeah, it's... I'm just like, oh, man, is that the only song that we're going to be able to learn for the for the Wind Waker? I hope not. Anyways, guys, I know that I was pretty confused about the compass before, but I realized it's a compass, not a GPS arrow. And I think that was what was throwing me off because I'm so used to, like, you know, technology and just, like... I don't know. You know the arrow, like on Google Maps, whatever. It points in the direction that you're facing. So this, I get it now. I get it. Hold it right there, small fry. <laughs> I don't know where you got your mitts on that C chart you got there, but it looks like, it looks to me like it's pretty much got nothing but C's drawn on it. I mean, that's accurate. It's pathetic. In fact, it's almost an insult to call that thing a C chart, if you ask me. What's the matter, small fry? I'm just trying to be nice here. I'm telling you that you've got a problem, and you do. Don't give me that stupefied look. It makes you look like you ought to be in diapers. <laughs> just listen, okay? I'm here to teach you what I know about this island. So open up your C chart and, uh, and make it snappy. Cool. He's going to fill in my map. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna draw on the map with his mouth. Um what? There's a real peculiar cave toward the backside of this here dragon roost island. Yeah, real peculiar, but I doubt you'll ever get there to see it, small fry, unless you manage to sprout wings and fly, that is, because you won't be getting there otherwise. That's all I can teach you, small fry, but I will do this for you since I'm feeling so generous. I'll send word to all my brethren living near the islands of the Great Sea. Good bunch of fish. If you see a fish leaping out of the water when you sail near an island, sail up to it and spread bait out on the water's surface. Trust me, this is good advice. See, the baiting process allows you to get a chart of the island along with any info that might be of use to you. I highly recommend you ha make a habit of doing so. See, you're definitely going to need a reliable sea chart to help you search for things out at sea. I can't emphasize this enough. You need a well-drawn chart. If you don't get a chart for every island you come across, it'll be a bigger hassle for you later. Now, don't say I never did anything for you, Fry. Boy there, you kingly red lion guy. That's it. I've repaid my debt. I'm done. You take care of the rest. What? Repaid his debt, huh? Um, I think maybe before we set off to sail... Let me... How do you cruise again? Whoa, what? When did we get this? Salvage. What's going on? I can't salvage anything. Salvage. You know what? Um, put away. How did I get that out? Okay, so it's R. Weird. Um, I bet where that blinking thing was happening on the map in like. I think it was episode two, or no, it would have been episode, the beginning of episode three. I bet that's, um, oh, check it out. It's on my thing here. And I can use this and I can pick which way I want the wind to go while I'm in the water. That's useful. Anyways, I bet the hook would have been useful where there was that glowing area on the water. But he said a peculiar cave, and now I kind of want to go back and investigate this. Plus, it seemed like there maybe was a mini game up there. I'm not sure. But you know what? Before we leave, I think I actually will go um, do a little bit more. Uh, let's just do like another once over on the island. Um, let's see if there's any way to break this big rock over here. Because it seems like there should be. Maybe eventually I'll get a bomb bag or something. And then I also want to talk to Beetle and see if he can sell me actual bait. Because now that sounds like something I might want to just keep in my inventory. Now that he said it's, um, you can use it to get those fish and then they'll open up your map. Because, yeah, I mean, he's not wrong. My map is pretty bare. 
Okay, guys, well, that does it for this episode. One temple down. I don't really know how many to go, but um, yeah, that was fun. A uh, really cool boss fight and uh, really cool music sequence during the fight. I actually don't even remember what music was playing during the fight. It was that fanfare at the end that I really liked, though. But, okay, next episode, I think we'll check out Retail Village a little bit more, and then, um, and then maybe we'll set off to sail. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. I'm Brittany with Desert Bee Games. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to help my channel grow, all you gotta do is hit the like and subscribe buttons below. If you'd like to see your name at the end of every video, please consider joining channel memberships right here on YouTube. Can't wait to see you there.